Oh hey! Hello, hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Zach here. If you're new around here, welcome. So today is gonna be a little bit of a tech review video. I recently bought a new Sony a6600 with a 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens and that's exactly what I'm filming on right now. For those of you guys who don't know, like yes, I absolutely love music and I love making songs and writing songs, but one of my other main passions is filmmaking. Pretty much I'm just gonna be doing a vlog test on it as this will be my first YouTube video ever shot on this Sony a6600. I am previously coming from a Canon camera. My main camera was a Canon T3i. Very old camera, but for its age, it actually was pretty good. Uh, but that's the camera I was using. And yes, I could have gone for a Canon 90D, which I was seriously considering. Don't get me wrong. But I decided to go with Sony in the end. And I'll pretty much be talking about my reasons why. Make sure to stick around for that. Let's hop into the vlog and enjoy the test footage. All right guys, so I'm actually headed to the store to buy a new pair of shoes because I need some new pair of shoes. But I can already tell you that I do like this camera because it is literally able to fit on my car dashboard because it's small enough. When I had my Canon camera, it was just too big. Like the microphone would be hitting up against the uh, windshield. This camera has the screen flipped up and the microphone on top and it is literally just sitting on my car dashboard and it fits perfectly and I already like it. I probably wouldn't drive with it like this just because it probably will fall but uh, still shots like this when I'm like in a parking lot or like in my driveway this it's it's perfect. All right just made it back in the car from the store. I went ahead and bought some Vans. I did I do really like Vans they're kind of like just your typical like old school black shoes. I like the style of them but yeah sick got some new shoes so now I think what I'm gonna do is just head to near downtown Austin like near the river and just try to get some cool shots of you know b-roll just walking around and just test out the quality of this camera and how it looks in the real world so that's what I'm gonna go do now Alright, so right now I'm currently doing a test on the audio for the camera. I'm using the onboard microphone. I'm not using my go-to Rode Video Mic Pro. So this is what the onboard camera looks, or the onboard microphone sounds like. And the reason why I bought this camera was because I wanted a not only a DSLR camera, but also like a point and shoot camera. And the whole point of a point and shoot camera is to have really good onboard audio. So you don't have to worry about mics and attaching it. You kind of just want to pick up the camera and go. And uh, that's what this camera and this lens setup is allowing me to do right now. So the other thing you guys might be noticing is how shaky the footage is right now. It might not be too bad, um, but that's because this camera doesn't have the best image stabilization. I've heard that it's not that good, but hopefully it's good enough. We'll see once I put this in the editing software. It might also be better if I go ahead and buy a Gorillapod and attach it to this so that I'm not hand holding it. I'll probably get that in the future. All right guys, so this is another shot we're gonna be testing out. So I don't have my tripod, so I'm using my sister to go ahead and like hold the camera with her hands. And this is what the shot looks like being handheld. Uh, hopefully it's not shaking around too much. She looks like she's holding it pretty steadily, which is good on her part, but uh, yeah. So here, just go ahead and follow me and then we'll like look at it that way. So now we're moving and the shot could be moving a little more. I guess just try to hold it as steady as possible. Okay. And uh, we'll, not, we'll try not to get in people's way. We're on like the bike trail right now in Austin, so there's a lot of people. 
So one thing I want to mention about this camera is when I was capturing the slow motion shots, when we were filming the slow motion shots, it took me a bit of time to figure out how to adjust the shutter speed on this camera. It's a little different compared to my Canon camera, but it actually is really, really, really easy to do. Uh, it just, I had to look up a video and Google it. Like I couldn't figure out on my own. I was able to figure out everything else like the ISO and the aperture, but I wasn't able to figure out the shutter speed. And it's mainly because I wasn't expecting the dial on this camera to spin. Like I was expecting it to, you know, you're able to press up, down, side, like left and right, but not also be able to spin it. So I really, really do like it now that I know how to use it. All right guys, so this is the third test shot of the day. This is gonna be like a low light test right now. The sun has already set. It is currently 8.48. It's probably about 18, almost 20 minutes after sunset. It is getting dark, but this is what the shot looks like. Curious to know if the shot's gonna be super grainy or not, um, so hopefully it, it still looks good. Currently, what are the, uh, hold on. So I just checked the camera settings, and right now the ISO is at 5,000. I'm not quite sure how high the ISO goes on this camera. I'm gonna have to look that up, but 5,000's pretty high. Like, my T3i only went up to 3,200, so 5,000's already much higher. It's at 6,400 right now. Now it's at 6,400, so it's even higher. So hopefully it doesn't look too bad. Um, but yeah, let's just, yeah, just follow me in. Uh, this is gonna be the low light test of walking as well. Walking while shooting in low light. Hopefully it still looks good. Wow, that, this shot actually looks really pretty with the uh, city in the background all lit up like that. That's cool. Yeah, throughout this entire test, I really have enjoyed vlogging on this camera and learning how it shoots and everything. You know, a lot of people were saying that on the Canon cameras, it's just super easy to pick up and film. And it is, it is, don't get me wrong. But so far, Sony has also been pretty easy. So I'm really impressed with this camera. The menu systems haven't been that complicated in my opinion either, just because for what I didn't know, I just Googled it or watched a YouTube video and I was able to figure it out pretty quickly. The shutter speed thing, for example. There's also been a couple other things, but I'll mention that later in this video. All right, guys. So now that we're back at home, I kind of just wanted to have a sit down with y'all and pretty much tell you why I decided to buy this camera. To be honest with you guys, it's because I broke my main camera. It was this one, a Canon T3i. I've had this camera for years and this was like the main camera that I shot everything on. Photos and videos for YouTube. Unfortunately, it was on my tripod, this very tripod that uh, I'm holding up the A6600 on. <laughs> I knocked it over and it landed right on its side on hardwood floor and uh, the mic was attached to it and this audio port was open and it landed like right on its side and hit the floor pretty hard. Basically the mic port is just crooked and now I can no longer record audio from my nice Rode VideoMic Pro on that camera, which is why I needed to upgrade uh, just because I want, I really care about my audio on my YouTube videos and I want you guys to be able to experience good audio when watching my videos. The two cameras that I was looking at buying was either the Sony a6600 or the Canon 90D. So why the Sony over the Canon? Well, I'll just be pretty straightforward with you guys. I have all the things written down on my phone. In my opinion, it had the better long-term investment, had the better image quality, it is smaller and compact. It has unlimited recording times, which means you can basically just hit record and it will literally record until the battery dies. Yeah, you could record for a really, really long time on this camera. Whereas the Canon 90D, it does stop at 30 minutes. So if you wanna like stream gaming videos or you wanna do interviews or you just, for whatever reason, need that long recording time, the A6600 is perfect for that. The other thing that this camera is really good at is slow motion. The, the 90D also does do slow motion, but I've also heard that it doesn't record audio at 120 frames a second, uh, whereas the A6600 does. For me, that's not really a deal breaker as when I'm shooting at 120, it's normally B-roll, so you don't really need audio for that. You're normally like putting music over it, so that's not really a deal breaker for me. But it is nice that they do give you that feature. The only downside to Sony, in my opinion, and this is like one of the main things that held me up about switching to Sony, was 
the price of their lenses. So if you guys aren't aware of this, lenses for Sony cameras are super expensive. So for example, the wide angle lens that's attached to my Canon camera, brand new, I bought this lens like five, six years ago, and it was like 350 bucks brand new. Uh, right now you can get this lens for I think 150 to 250 off of like Canon's refurbished website or like pretty much eBay or pretty much any other store. So you can find it pretty cheap. On the other hand, the Sony wide angle lens for their crop sensor cameras, I believe is around $800, which is a huge price jump compared to Canon's. So if you guys do end up buying the A6600, there are only two things that I recommend doing to it just to improve like the filming experience and everything. The first thing is, you know those like camera strap holders that Sony's are known to come with? Casey Neistat also did a review on this where it's like if you shake the camera and you're recording. The audio will pick it up. So I recommend taking those off they're a little bit of a pain to take off, but like, it's really not that bad. The second thing I recommend you guys doing is turning off the annoying sounds the camera makes when you like hit record and hit stop record. So when I first got the camera, I was just doing a quick camera test and just recording myself. And I was like, wow, these sounds are actually really annoying because every single time I hit stop and record, it's gonna make that sound. How do you turn that off? Well, I just went to YouTube and found a video talking about how to turn off that annoying sound. And uh, it's super easy. You just go to the Sony menu system, navigate to a setting and turn it off. It's like, it's super easy. Yeah, those are the two things that I recommend you doing if you guys do buy the Sony a6600. All right guys, well that's pretty much my thoughts on the Sony a6600 so far. In the end, no camera is perfect, but as of right now, I'm really happy about the purchase decision I made. Thank y'all so much for watching. If y'all like this video, hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button. Feel free to drop some comments down below and I will see y'all next week. All right guys, take it easy.